So, you wanna light a scene? Well, grab a fire extinguisher, cause it's about to get lit up in here. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to light a scene. I have Loki here from Fortnite, yeah, <laughs> Fortnite. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and light this scene because there's a lot of different things we can do here. So, really excited, let's get started. We have his, uh, we have a staff in the background, of course there's two of them, just because it doesn't really make sense because he only has one staff, but listen, he's the he's the the prince of illusion. Okay, maybe he makes you think there's two. The left one's actually fake. He didn't know that though. Um, all right, so let's go to render view portrait up here at the top right. Rendered, we can go there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift A, and I have everything set up here. Uh, the camera's all set up. I'm gonna hit Shift A. I'm gonna search for a light point, and you can see it just puts it down there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and hit G Z to move this up. And then we can hit GY to move it out of his face. So now we can have like lighting. It looks like it's very, very um, personal, very close up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn my overlays off. Actually, I'm going to turn off um, bones and then uh, everything else except for extras and uh, outlines. Okay, cool. So we're chilling. Nice. Okay. Um, now, with all of this set up, what I want to do. Is uh, with this lamp, with this uh, original point lamp, we can just like either have it really super intimate, really, really soft light there on his face. I don't know what we're going for in specific here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn transparent off, and we'll t make the background black. Nice. So super, super uh, intimate lighting here, as you can see, um, and it's uh, very simple lighting as well. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make sure that uh, we do multiple different types of lights. So I'm gonna actually pull this lamp behind his head. So I want to have a nice little rim light, as you can see, it looks really, really cool. Nice little rim light there on the back of him, which looks very epic. Now what I want to do is because these two little blue, um, these two little blue pieces on his scepter, on his staff, uh, are still there. Actually, where, where did my outline oh, selected? There you go. Cool. Um, now since they are still there and they look like they emit light, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and duplicate this lamp by hitting Shift D, duplicate that, put it as close. As we can possibly get to this, um, this little blue piece here. She might actually put it right on the edge, right there. I'm gonna go to the lamp, uh, lamp tab, change the color to a blue color like that, and then bump up the brightness quite a bit. And then the same thing over here. So hit Shift D to get that, move it on over, and then hit G Y so it's not inside of the. There we go. Nice. So now we have those two blue scepters really glowing, which looks really, really cool. Um, now, actually, I want to maybe see if we can go ahead and if I hit tab, do an edit mode, and select one of these vertices and hit, what is the button? I believe it is, da, 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 da. I can't remember what the button is. I won't lie to you. Oop. Now I have selected the improper cursor. Let's put my cursor back. Um, L. Okay, so cool. So if I put my cursor over top of an object and hit L, you can see that it'll select the entire object. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these vertices, hit L so that it selects the entire thing. We'll go to uh, material mode, hit this little plus button, hit new, hit assign, and then change this from principal BSDF to emission. And then we can go ahead and uh, bump this up and we'll change the color to like a blue color like that. Now, I kind of want to get rid of the two lamps that we just put in. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's the wrong thing. All right, there we go. We'll get rid of these two lamps. And now we can have this look like this instead, which looks much cooler, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Do the same thing this one. So hit um, L plus new, assign, principal, emission. Actually, wait, no. We'll just use the same one. What am I thinking? All right, cool. Nice. Now we have that all set up. Looks very, very cool. Um, I got this uh, model from a Google Drive link from somebody that has a very uh, big collection of uh, the Fortnite models. I will leave the link to that video down in the description. Go check it out. What's I going to say? I was going to say something and I forgot what it was. Oh, nice. Okay, so after this, you can see it looks very foggy, very misty, very mystical, which looks really cool because of the bloom, uh, obviously. Now we need to light, of course, the front of Loki here. So let's hit Shift D, duplicate this, uh, G, Y, and move this up uh, in front of him. Now I don't want this to be super bright, so we'll go ahead and hit G, Z, G, Z to move it up, and G, Y to maybe move it a little bit closer again. So it's like kind of coming from above, um, like, like so... And I do really, really, really like 
the idea of having it like super close to him like to the point where you can't really see his face from this lamp it's just kind of, kind of lighting him in a weird way and then we'll duplicate it again i move on just onto his face we'll turn the power down and the radius down so that it's literally just lighting his face literally just lighting his face like that which looks really cool to me all right nice this is like very complex lighting um all right, so that one literally is just lighting his face basically literally just his face um and that's that's literally it which is very cool so now that we have that set up i want to go ahead and maybe do some i really like the way that's looking already i don't really want to change too much but i think i want to make make a, a couple of like rim lights on his shoulders for the blue so it's shift d we'll duplicate that lamp that was behind him we'll put it right on the edge of his um of his shoulder there so it's kind of giving us a little bit of light there i'm going to turn the radius down and we'll also turn the power down a little bit um i'll change the color to a nice blue so it's like it's reflecting that color maybe turn the radius up Maybe actually the radius down, actually. Yeah, and then we'll get a little bit of power in there. Just so it's a little bit of blue color on the side of him. You know what I mean? Maybe like... Maybe like just, just right there on both sides. Nice. Okay, just a tiny bit of blue so it looks like it's a little cohesive. Um, with, the, uh, with the blue scepters in the background there. So we'll hit... Uh, Move it over there. Nice. Okay, cool. So this looks very nice. Move it down there. And I really enjoy this quite a bit, actually. So what I want to do now is I think after this, at this point, there's nothing else that I really want to do. There's multiple different ways we can light this scene. But for now, I think that's the way that I would properly actually, probably, not properly, probably actually light this scene. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically everything that I would that I would do to light this scene in very like, ambient, cinematic kind of uh, kind of way. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial, a little walkthrough process of how I would light a scene in Blender 3.0. Evie, I appreciate you for stopping by, watching the video. Um, we're gonna we we just recently hit seven seventy thousand followers and that's that's insane. Seventy thousand subscribers on the channel is absolutely insane. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, every single day, you have no idea. I will see you in the next tutorial. But until then, <laughs> bye bye.